So today we are going to be talking about mental health stories and CAMS stories. And if you're not from the UK or don't know what that is, CAMS is Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services and it's basically the government NHS run mental health service which is free to the general public. Yay. So, mental health story starts in like, I'm putting this on because I'm doing a face mask as well. So you get to see my wonky eye and my big forehead, sometimes. So, mental health story starts in like, I don't know, year seven, I'm guessing? So I would have been, what, eleven or something? Yeah, I would have been eleven and twelve. And basically mental health is just a bit shit, and I'm not going to go into the details of what, where, why, when, who, how, hair, etc. But like, yeah, it wasn't fantastic and it hasn't been ever since, haha, <laughs> fun. But, oh and this is mint chocolate chip. So I basically didn't do anything about poor mental health for a very 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 long time and so, wait, I'm gonna grab another mirror, one sec. Also this smells so good, I'm gonna cry. mirror in front of the viewfinder so I can't see where I'm looking or what I'm doing. No, okay, that doesn't work but let's look at the mirror. Yeah. So basically mental health story uh, started then and I didn't do anything about the mental health stuff for a very long time like I don't know two years I want to say like a year and a half two years and I basically told one of my teachers about my struggles and what was happening and yeah she basically was like you're gonna be okay and it was really nice and comforting because she was the only person who had ever been like hey Maisie are you okay and she hadn't seen me in like a year because she was on maternity leave and to this day she's still one of my favorite people in the world and I'm literally moving schools for sixth form to study at the same school as her so she can teach me because yeah she is a fantastic teacher as well as a nice person. How great's that? So, um, yeah, so she's like, You alright? And I was like, Nah, not really, mate. Not doing so great. And she basically helped me to tell parents about what was happening and how my mental health was a pile of shit. And that was really nice of her. And from then, not much happened then, that was in the June and then that would have been in the June of year 8 so I would have been how old would I have been? 13 or 14? and no, year 8, 10, 12, yeah I would have been 13 and so not much happened then until like the Christmas when I was like lol my anxiety is getting hella bad and I can't really function so my mum was like, let's go to the doctors and this was the day before my 14th birthday so that would have been January 6th, 25th, no, yeah we're in 2015 and um, basically I was seeing a counsellor in school at this point and went to the doctors and my doctor was like uh lol go read some textbooks from the library about anxiety and self-help guides and i was like thanks for nothing mate that's really gonna help me with not feeling great at all and so that happened and then we went back to the doctor saw a different doctor and she was like we'll put you onto cams and i was like i don't know what that is but fine yeah that sounds good so got put and cams waiting list which like wasn't too long at that point it was only like six months i think then so oh no what months may january february march April. yeah it would have been five months because i started stuff in the may and i oh know it would have been like late april so like four months which was all right and i went to like a group self-help session and that was quite helpful, like the people that were there were really really lovely and I think that it would have helped 
a lot more had I not met certain people that went because in the long run they kind of messed my mental health up really really badly because yeah but <laughs> fun so uh that happened and then after that they were like okay anyone who doesn't already have a therapist will be given one and I was like okay decent nice and my therapist is called George and she was absolutely lovely she was like the most queer person I've met in my life and it was absolutely fantastic and I loved it and we made jokes and she helped me a lot and she was actually so so wonderful but she was like a locum doctor so she travelled down from London literally every Monday away from her wife and kids to treat people like oneself and so I stayed with her from like I don't know September 2015 to like August 2016 when I got my new therapist and ah that was fun so uh my old therapist George got me tested for like a lot of different things all of which came back like negative because I don't really like talking to people about my problems so it's hard for them to diagnose me with accurate things so but she like believed what I said which is very important for a therapist to believe what your patient is saying and not like doubt them and make them feel belittled and like what they're going through is fine it's nothing everyone goes through it or like they're not as sick as they feel they are that they are so my new therapist uh, I'm not gonna do names for this because I'm not gonna be like fantastic she's a really 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 lovely person but she makes me feel like really belittled and kind of like I'm not sick enough to be there um, because physical attributes don't match with what's going on up here etc like if you follow my private Twitter I'm not linking it or like telling anyone because that's for people I really trust but like you literally know how much of a shit show my head is and like my therapist doesn't believe me that anything's wrong really and because physical attributes don't match with mental attributes I'm being discharged because there are people that need it more than me basically and because I'm hard to work with <laughs> because I don't trust people at all so it makes it hard for people to be like this is what you should do but there's one story that like really gets to me and it was before exams and I was stressed out to the max and I was just so angry like I had no reason to be but like everything was just making me so 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 angry like to the point where I could have just punched a door constantly or like punched someone or like just screamed and just yeah for like a good three days like three four days it was just constant anger and I don't know where it came from because I'm not like a very angry person like I'm moody and I get like annoyed quite a lot but like I'm not angry very often where well, like during this stage I was like oh I hate everyone it wasn't even like a teenage dance thing it was a literal I was just filled with just anger over everything and I told her about it on the session on the Monday and I was just going on about like I didn't know how to deal with it and I didn't know what to do about it and is there anything she could do and she just told me to basically breathe and think about what you do before you say anything or like do anything and I was like okay fair enough and then she cut the session to 20 minutes early at a time where like I was actually trying to trust her and get into my story and be like this is hard for me to talk about please don't shut me out and then she did so yeah I didn't trust her again after that still don't at all oops so yeah that's pretty much my cam story summed up I had two good experiences and one not very good experience like every time I come out of a session in the past year I felt really belittled and like really invalidated in terms of what my mental health is like because I know it's not great I know that it's like really not good at all but I also understand that people have it worse than me and there are people with much worse mental health issues than myself 
but that doesn't mean that mine are invalid. I am still important and my mental health issues are still important because they really affect me like constantly. So yeah, but that's pretty much my cam story. Two good experiences, one bad that's put me off going back ever. So yeah, fun times. But um, the thing about cams is you can be really lucky. So I suppose it's like with anything, you can get a really good therapist. You can see someone that's absolutely lovely. But then you can also see someone that isn't so great and doesn't really understand you and you just don't gel with and that's what happened to me by no fault of theirs but yeah it's still not great because like mentally I'm literally in one of the worst spaces I've been in since like yeah I want to say ever like it's bad in some attributes like really really awful in some places and really like not too bad in others and she only sees the not too bad like not the Wow, I'm really doing really shit. Great. But, yeah. Cause, fun times. <laughs> Woo. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I think. If you wanna know anything, like, about cams, or how it works, or how things thing, then just like send me DM on Twitter, not so much on Insta because I don't check my Instagram very often at all. Or send me like, or just put something in the comments and we'll start a little discussion fun times. But yeah, I think that's it because this wasn't scripted at all. You might be able to tell. So it's just a bit of a ramble. Yeah. Self care is important, moisturise and drink water. Fun. Oh, and look after yourself, because even if things are shit, we if you keep you, if you keep saying this to yourself, it sometimes makes sense. You're gonna be alright. Keep saying, say it with me. You're going to be alright. I'm going to be alright. My camera cut out, so I'm gonna make this quick. Uh, I'm going to be alright. Just keep saying it to yourself, and one day you'll believe it. Yeah. And that's what I do a lot. Fun times. And my nose is really itchy but I can't itch it because I've got a face mask on. Okay. Right. I'm gonna go edit this a bit now. Don't really have to edit it. I'm just gonna put a thing on the end. Like the do 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 do. Yeah. See you later. Bye. That was really bad. I can't see at the moment. So I just remembered that I changed my name and I don't have an outro so here's me a couple shots of lightning while I say goodbye, goodbye.